I feel two bubbles. Hey friends, it is time for an extra special kidding video because we have not one, but two mamas in labor today. So both Lacey and Zelda this morning when I checked them had no ligaments, finally. So I'm really excited, but it is a terrible day for it. That's, again, it's how goats do it. So we have a really busy day. So naturally we also have two mamas kidding, but you know what? It's a blessing. We're gonna make it work. It's gonna be great. I have both of those mamas set up in their kidding pens. That way I can keep a good eye on them with the monitor. But right now it is piglet castration day. So we'll have a different video on that one because if you guys love watching goats, you probably don't want to watch a pig castration. So we'll keep those separate for you guys. <laughs> All right, piglet castrations are done, thankfully. And now we're just waiting on these two ladies. Both are still laboring. No, no real big changes yet. We're not quite to the act of pushing or anything like that, which is good because I'm starving and tired and I just would like to go inside and eat a bite. So hopefully I don't miss anything. We'll be back in a minute to check on these girls. All right, ladies, I would like to make a pact. Do not give birth until I come back from lunch. Deal? Deal. I'll take that as deal. All right, so as we wait for these ladies to go into labor, I wanted to show you guys something about Lacey that I'd noticed that I thought might be interesting. So in our last video about Sylvie's birth, I talked through some of the signs of uh, labor in coming in your goat. And so one of them was those babies dropping and really getting that sunken look around the goat's hips. So let me show you that on Lacey. So here is Lacey from two days ago. This is before the babies dropped, and although she had quite a bit of discharge at the time, those babies were not ready to come out yet. As opposed to today, whenever she has finally lost her ligaments, and those babies have dropped. It is crazy how sunken in she is around there. So having a goat with sunken hips is by no means a guarantee that they're going into labor. But it is a good indication that if you weren't sure what day your goat's going into labor, it's a good indication it's soon. All right, back to the house and we'll check on her again in a little while. All right, we are back out at the barn now. It has been a little while and I managed to go inside, get a little bit cleaned up because we have a birthday party tonight. My middle middle child, Desmond, is turning six. He actually turned six about three days ago, but we are celebrating tonight. And so I was really hoping that these two girls would have already given birth by now, but instead it looks like they're either going to give birth during the party or keep me up through the night, so. Either way, it's just, it's so typical of goats to make sure that they are ruining your plans with theirs. I forgive you though. Yeah, I forgive you for ruining my plans. Cause you're so cute. All right, sweet Lacey here is starting to get a little bit pushy with her contractions, so babies should be here really, really soon. I've mentioned before in a previous video that Lacey has the genetics um, and was bred to a sire where I really, really want to keep her babies or one of her babies as our future herd sire. So a buck that we will keep for our herd for years to come. And so this is like the one and only time that I am praying for just a belly full of boys out of her because then I can keep all of the boys and raise up whoever seems to be the best and keep him for our future herd sire. I think a lot of people just pick a buck based on, you know, what's cheap or what's convenient or, you know, somebody's getting rid of a male goat. I thought I'd keep him as a buck, but the reality is your buck tends to be about half of the genetics of your herd. If he's breeding 10 different females, all of those females, all of their babies, you're talking, you know, 20 or so babies, 
They're gonna be half made up of your buck's genetics, and so it's really important to have a really high quality buck in your herd. Lacey has some really phenomenal genetics, especially when it comes to her udder, and that's really what we're mostly focused on here. She's pretty gorgeous too, if you hadn't noticed. Blue eyes and spots, I think she's just beautiful. So I'm really, really hoping for some, <laughs> for some excellent udders, and I wouldn't mind, you know, some blue eyes and pretty spots, but mostly we're hoping for some healthy babies. So let's get back to pushing. Zelda here just has no sympathy for her poor mother in labor. She is chomping away, eating a nice meal, clearly not in a, as advanced <laughs> labor as her mama Lacey is. So she's just enjoying the show, eating a snack. Lacey's labor really took an incredibly long time without any sort of progression. So after waiting a few hours, I decided it was time to go in and just see if I could feel anything, see if there was a baby in the canal. And what I found was not great. So when I reached in, I could tell that it was not a well-positioned baby. It was a baby that was breech, which means backwards, so tail first, but, but worse still, this baby had its legs tucked up and was just not going to be able to fit coming out that way at all. So I had to go in and pull the baby's back legs out so that it was more streamlined so that that baby would be able to fit. So Lacey's first baby is Breach. And so I'm really gently trying to get those back feet. Okay, I've got both back feet, and now we're gonna pull out. Cause his back feet were tucked. Oh, we got two back feet out. All right, mama. Here we go. All right, now it's time to push. And then things got even worse. <laughs> As I was pulling on those baby's legs to come out, I realized that this baby is big, like really, really big. And I could tell that I was gonna have to pull pretty hard to get that baby out. And so it took me a few minutes of really trying to balance getting that baby out quickly because it was a breach and I was worried about it losing oxygen um, versus going slow enough that I didn't cause injury to Lacey as I was pulling on that baby. It got really scary, you guys. Uh, there was a point, there was a point where I really thought if I pull much harder, I'm worried something's gonna break, which is just horrifying. Almost done, almost there, almost there. You got it. Thankfully, the baby did come out, but as soon as the baby came out, I could tell that it was not alive. It was just limp, um, and it felt like the internal organs had already started to decompose. It felt very bloated. Um, and then also, whenever I saw its head, the head was fairly deformed.
All right. So that was a little girl, a doling, but she um, clearly was deformed and didn't finish developing. Um, she's enormous. I mean, so, so big, but um, very clearly was dead inside and not helping mama as she came out, which is why we had a really long wait for labor. So sad start, um, but we're gonna hope there are more babies and hopefully more live babies. So after that start, I would love to say that it was easy going from there, but it was not. It was a really rough birth. And so after Lacey had birthed that first stillborn baby, um, I waited to see when she would push out the next one. And she really didn't act like she wanted to push at all, which happens sometimes when you have to pull a baby out, especially a traumatic pull, which this one was fairly traumatic. Mama sometimes just doesn't want to push. And so I went in there to see what was going on, to see if I could feel another baby that was ready to come out. And what I felt was just, I, I couldn't even tell what it was. I felt tissue and bones and I couldn't identify whether it was the front of a baby or the back of a baby or the side of a baby. And so I just had to feel around until I finally found something I could pull forward enough to get out of the canal so I could see what I was working with. Is that, oh, it is a back leg. Okay, I got a back leg and a tail. Oh, shoot, this is gonna be hard to get out. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. All righty. Oh, okay. Are you alive? You're alive. Thank you, Mom. Oh, thank you, Lord. Praise God. Oh, there's a baby, a chocolate baby with moon spots. Oh, you better be a boy. You better be a boy. Oh, what a pretty one. Oh my goodness. He's a boy? I don't know, I'm scared oh. to look. Okay. It's a boy. Yes, oh, I'm Grace. so glad. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, I'll be good. I'm gonna... Now, thankfully, after that one, number three came fast and furious. I almost missed catching him. Oh, my. Good girl. We just have to get through the roadblock. Why are they all backwards? <laughs> All right, take a breath, little one. Take a breath. There's the baby. You guys are going to have to forgive me on the horrific video footage here. This birth is rough, and we're going to do the best that we can, but we've got two babies alive, doing great. I got to check on them. <laughs> oh my little ones I know see you had to wait on that first baby to come out huh oh my goodness mama oh pretty boy oh my aren't you pretty too And this one is a girl. A oh, pretty little girl. So then after baby three came out, I was pretty sure as big as Lacey was, she probably had a fourth one. And so whenever she laid down and acted like she was ready to push again, I was very, very excited because I was really hoping for, you know, the drama was over. Now she could push him out on her own. Instead... I felt in as she was pushing just to see that this one was actually positioned right. And it felt like there were two bubbles. Now two bubbles typically means each baby's in its own bubble, two bubbles, two babies, and two babies cannot come out at the same time. So 
I knew I needed to go in again and help her out. Oh no. I'm afraid I feel two bubbles. So same thing as baby number two on this one, unfortunately. I was feeling around and could not figure out what was what. There was just so many limbs and nothing really made sense. I could feel a front leg and a shoulder and I just couldn't figure out what came next to that because it should be a head and the other side should be the rib cage, but it just didn't feel right. And so I finally popped that bubble open had the leg come out and could confirm that was a front leg, which was great, but also front legs can't go first. So we have a problem. So I had to push that front leg back into Lacey and try to find the head. And unfortunately that baby had its head tucked all the way under its body and it was rough to get that back up. But I was able to push the baby back in, pull her little head up, and then the baby delivered pretty easily after that. All right, there we go. Now push. There we go. Oh my goodness. Name you naughty baby. You guys, this kidding is, is so dramatic. That baby came out one foot and nothing else. Its head was tucked down, I mean, folded in half. So I had to shove it back in, go dig for the head, and then guide its head out to fit. Because babies don't fit leg first. They fit head first or back feet first. There are no other options. You're cute though. Good night. You're a cute little girl. Of course you are. I need a vacation after this. <laughs> I recall this afternoon getting cleaned up so that I could attend my son's birthday party and instead I am a sweaty mess out in the barn pulling kids out of a goat. This was not the desire for the day, but you know what? Sometimes my plan is not what happens and it's okay. So hopefully Lacey's done, though I fear she may have one more because she was just enormous. And so I'm gonna give her a few minutes before I go join the birthday party. <laughs> it's a birthday party out here. I mean, I just, I'd rather be at the one for my son. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Desmond. All right, well, the birthday party was a huge success. We had a blast celebrating Desmond's sixth birthday. And thankfully, those three babies that Lacey had are doing great. Everybody's nursed, everybody's dry, happy. So, the downside of the day is Zelda is still in labor. And so I think that we're gonna have to cut it off here though and make that its own video because this is just, there is a certain amount of drama a threshold that cannot be exceeded with with what's happening in a video and we're there we're so far beyond there that we have to cut this one off <laughs> so thank you guys for watching please leave us likes or comments if you'd like to hit subscribe if you want we're gonna have more kidding videos because we do still have two more mamas that are pregnant one is out there laboring right now so we'll have more videos for you guys soon
Thanks for watching.